Mr. Midday. Yes, what's going on? Um, being as though we spoke about uh, my album. Yeah. Do you have a new album in the West? I do. I do. Thank you for asking, madam. Uh, <laughs> I have an album out. It came out in October, actually, and it's self-titled. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's called Eric Benet. And um, it's feeling really good. Uh, the first single was Sunshine. I have, um, I have Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And it was, uh, it was received so well. And, um, you know, we got the second single, Insane, out there right now, which people are loving. And, I, you know, I really didn't have a, um, a thematic concept for this album, but what I wanted to do was, um, I got a little studio in North Hollywood, mm -hmm. and I, um, you know, my partner, uh, DeMonte, and I, I was like, yo, D, this is what I want to do. Let's just call up some of the baddest cats we know in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, on, so on guitar, <clears throat> I got Jerry Smozy, and then we got Damo the Great on bass, we got oh, Nick yeah. Smith on drums, and and DeMonte and uh, Donald Hayes on horns. Mm. And I was like, let's just post up in the studio for a couple days and just vibe. And, Beautiful. you know, I'm going to have a couple skeleton ideas of some songs, but I know if I have this uh, group of crazy musicians in right. the room, we're just going to naturally come up with some insane stuff. And that's what happened. And the record just feels very, um, it feels very live, but, but, um, it's, I don't know, I'm just really really happy with how it turned out. And when, it, when I was listening to this record after I mastered it, I hadn't given it a title yet. It just felt like so in such a good creative representation of me. That's why I gave it like the self-titled. Right. 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 Yeah. Not in a self-indulgent way. Not in a self-indulgent so way, right. proclamation. Because, you know, for yourself, you've been doing this for how long now and I'm you talked your about that <laughs> you talked about it. it's not just it's not just a journey through distance and time but it's also a journey <laughs> through the changing trends of music and the changing right, trends right. of the industry right. but we still here exactly right. and, and i th and i think the reason that artists like you and i are still here is because when we create it's almost like we we go really internally when we create. We, right. Like, I've been in the studio with some writers and some producers, and it seems like they're using external things of what's happening on the radio for their ins right. inspiration. And I feel like, for, at least for me, if I'm using some music to inspire me, it's some legends whose shoulders I'm standing on. Right, but the exactly. rest of my inspiration is some like really vulnerable personal stuff that's going on on the inside. Right, right so your template is absolutely <clears throat> organic <clears throat> and exactly. the feel for it being, you know, Eric Benet, the 2017 right. version. Mm -hmm. Like, I listened to that album, your Eric Benet album, and hear how organic it is. You know, live musicianship isn't something that's as common. No. So when it is done, it's like, that's that good, good. That's that <laughs> that's good, that good, good, good. Good, good. That old school 105.3 will always play. <laughs> exactly. I love exactly. it. Exactly. And it will never go away. And know? I love that as a song title. That's that good, good. <laughs> you, <laughs> probably, you probably need to write I that. Say it you know too much. That's I say that it too good, often, good, baby. That's, that's, like you said, that's why we're here. So.